Bark at the Moon. Uh, did I say that last time for the artist edition? I don't remember. I'm going to say Bark at the Moon. That's how, that's the thing. Bark at the Moon. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What'd it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey, friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm sporting the hairstyle I call Lionel Richie Marks. It's, I, I know it's going to be all the, the craze soon. All you kids are going to go out there and get it. And I don't blame you. So go for it. Um, before we get started, let's check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. So what have you got for me today, Magic Duff Bucket? Oh, a Sugarfoot Stout. I thought I was all out of these. Wait, what is that? It's a new batch. A new batch from Rapture Brewing that showed up on my porch today? Oh, with a Sun Tough book? That's crazy. That's like the stars have aligned to deliver two of my favorite things. And here they are. And I, I'll, I'll drink this one. And then I'll enjoy the other one. So yeah, it was kind of cool. This big old thing came on my porch, came onto my porch today via some delivery service. And you better open. So he went to Caps instead of uh, the champagne cork thing. Listen to this. Yeah, that's a duff bucket getting something to eat. So um, this is the new batch of Sugarfoot Stout from Rapture Brewing. And I have it in my Rapture glass. The official Rapture glass from Rapture. And then later in the video, I'll tell you about the other Rapture glass you can buy. You can purchase that as well. So... I'm dying to try it because I am I've been uh, I've been out of stouts out of good stout out of rapture stout for a little while so this is water in the desert rain in the desert look at that beauteous here we are oh that's 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 a treat. This is a dessert. This is this is uh this is best drunk when you deserve it. If you don't deserve it, then you're just gonna have flavor and you're gonna be like, I didn't earn that flavor. That is that is you know, you know what it is. Wow. So I, I got me some sugar foot, I got some Jeff Ward stout, and I got Peter's Seasonal Saison, because that's the preferred rapture of producer Jill. We, we're, you know, we're, we're a house united. We're not divided. We're united under rapture brewing. But, you know, we each do what we do. So, cheers. Check out the rest of the video. <laughs> I will be cozy and, and toasty and... Producer Jill's reaching out. She wants a taste. So we're going to let her have some and then um, check out Wolfen. Yeah, it's a crazy day when both Rapture and Suntub show up on my doorstep. That's nutty. And that makes for a totally fantastic day. Am I right? You have those days when Suntub and Rapture show up at the same time, don't you? Well, you could. If you just go Jeff yourself. So let's get into it. I've shown you the artist edition. I have shown you the artist portfolio, Francois Villancourt. And now the numbered edition. Oh. And it looks like the post office wanted to take a bite out of the wolf, the wolf in here. So we'll have to see how that book looks inside. Um, I have all the faith in the world that the form-fitted foam will take care of it. But, you know, I, I, I get all my numbered editions ship priority because it's a pricier book and you want to make sure it arrives uh, in as, as quickly and as damage-free as possible. So you're, you're hoping that with priority, it's in the postal carrier's hands for a shorter time and therefore the chances are less that I'll get damaged but there you go um, priority doesn't mean completely without danger so 
Um, well, let's see. Let's see what it looks like on the inside and if the foam took care of it. The numbered edition. It's the year of the wolf. It's not. It's actually year of the tiger. Ooh. Ooh. And you know what's what's awesome? I unboxed both guests last week. I'm unboxing this now. And I got a, a are you, have you moved notice for Johnny got his gun numbered. So that's on the way. Lots. It's rain and Suntup books. It's crazy. I hope Paul Suntup takes a little moment for himself. Drink some of that pan of water. It's properly hydrated and doesn't overdo it. Old school foam. Nice. The Wolfen by Whitley Schreiber. Fuzzy fuzz. So, uh, and of course, art by Francois Villancourt. My dog likes the Wolfen. Whoa, so this slipcase is like stone. It's like the artist portfolio uh, enclosure. Nice. Let's open it up. Let's get it. Yeah, I haven't, I have the artist, but I haven't read it yet. Oh man, it, it's glittery. It's rough. This texture is very rough. Feels like stone. Um, nice. It looks like stone, feels like stone. There's a coarseness to it. Love it. And then on the other opposite end of that is this smooth label on the spine. Um, very nice. And I love that it goes the entire way. Let's have a look at this beauty. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Nice uh, Japanese cloth, I believe. Slash marks. Now, yeah, I, I haven't read it yet. I'm gonna read my artist edition. Oh, mm, this smells different than his other, uh, the other books. There's a little vanilla. I detect notes of vanilla in there. Um, the, the binding, the squareness of the binding, I don't know what, it, it's giving me vibes of Exorcist, the numbered Exorcist. It's giving me vibes. It's very, it's very elegant. Um, very simple end papers here. The Wolfen, um, loaded with art. The art is some stunning business. Very stunning stuff. Um, here is the signature page. So the Wolfen, um, all copies are signed by Whitley Schreiber and Francois. So there are the signature signatures. Whitley Schreiber Fran on top, Francois below, and my number, number 23. Some people, they they block out the numbers when they're selling books. I don't understand why. I don't know what harm is in knowing a person's number. It's not like you're sharing your marathon time, which is rude. I've learned it's rude to ask a marathoner, what was your time? I I didn't understand. So if you if you come up across a marathoner, don't don't ask his or her time. Um, very nice. And like I said, I'm going to read the artist edition. This is for, you know, just the beauty of it. And let me see what we got for images. I could just, I could just share some images. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. It's cool. It's like old Renaissance. Now I heard, um, some criticism about this book that it reads like a p police procedural and it's not um, not a typical like horror or werewolf story or all that. I, I think that's still cool. Um, I don't I don't mind a police procedural and that's not a ding. Um, I think some really fine detective stories could feel like that.
Very cool. Um, I happen to know that um, Paul's niece and his niece's daughter does the numbering on these books. So that's cool. That's a little bit of trivia for you. A little sun top, a little peek behind the curtain for you, in case you didn't know that. They numbered it with care. So I like it. Um, I don't know why. Like I said, I'm getting Exorcist numbered vibes. But I'm digging it because Exorcist is in the VIP lounge of the Sun Tup shelf. There's a VIP lounge. It's Blood Meridian, Exorcist, and a few others. Like every other, okay, the, the, the Sun Tup shelf is the VIP lounge. So there, there you go. Um, but that's very cool. The wolf in. Up next, Johnny got, Johnny got his gun um, numbered, which I don't, I haven't read yet. So I have to read that. But uh, Wolfen, I'm, I'm pumped about it. Um, but whoosh, whoosh. You know, I'm probably going to edit in howling and dog noises in this video. So don't be surprised if it's super awesome. A super awesome video. Don't be shocked. Try not to be shocked. When you hear it. So, um, again, this one's sold out. Completely sold out. So there were only 350 of these. It's on Mohawk, super fine. It smells like hints of vanilla. Um, and um, I'm, I'm dying to get into some classic, classic horror. You know, when Paul um, went with a square spine I think the first one was auctioneer. I wasn't, I was worried. I don't like that. I like those typical, I like those traditional, I don't want to say typical, curved spines where it has that, and, and then that, the page block indents to, to, to meet the, the curve. But man, after he did it, I'm like, I'm like digging it. I'm like, I'm like digging it. Um, I do like the way the spine label wraps around their, it's a very neat, very neat um, uh, detail. And the, and the simple black and gray, very nice. I, I gotta say, um, anytime you're you're wondering if you're gonna like a Suntup edition, they always exceed those, those uh, prototype designs. They always exceed the, the images on the site when you order um, and the way they feel and look in your hand. Is, is always better than you expect. Even when you expect better than you expect is as funny as that is. So I'm thrilled to have it. Can't wait to read it. Um, stick around, there'll be more, inevitably more. So make sure you get some Rapture brewing up in your system because Rapture is uh, just amazing. Wow. I. Got to do a little little plug for them. Um, also, in the store, if you want to show your love for Rapture while you're drinking your Rapture, I have a glass, a pint glass, custom made for you. So you can tell people, once it's out of the can and in the glass, that it's Rapture all the way. And I got to say, if you pour beers that aren't Rapture into the Rapture pint glass, it'll break into a million pieces. I've I added that design element. I mean, I engineered that structure of the glass. I said, if they pour inferior beers into this pint glass, I want it to shatter and make a big mess to teach them a lesson. You can't drink anything but Rapture. And they said, fine, they're going to add that as a feature. So if you buy the Rapture pint glass out of the Jeff Ward store and you pour any inferior beers in there, you're going to have a mess to clean up. And then you're just going to have to buy another glass. You can't get a refund because it's not how it works um, in Jeff Word world. I try to say that, Jeff Word world. I just did. Challenge accepted, and I beat it. I beat my own challenges. So, um, Jeff Word world. I just did it again. Spontaneous. I just jumped at you with it. You know, I, I hope you're not driving. And if you're driving, you shouldn't even be watching this anyway. Um, I'm a safety, I'm a traffic safety guy now. So... Get on it, get yourself a good Rapture beer, get yourself a delicious Sun Tub book, and stay frosty.
Yeah, you know, usually I end these videos with a different image than had appeared in the video before it, you know, like a drawing or my cat, my dog, whatever. But this set is so badass, I had to show it again so you could see it and enjoy it and want it and then go get it somewhere if you want or just watch another video or just subscribe to the channel out of jealousy.